And we're here with a team that when you look at it over here, it was a little easier to put together. Yeah, listen, the name's Supreme. I will tell you, Michael Savon Solomon has been trying to get his team named Supreme for the longest time. And you know what? He finally put it together and it's a Supreme team. It, it, really looks, it looks pretty Supreme. Uh, listen, I, I, he's couple one of my of favorites for the World Series. couple of stuff fell into his lap. I think he had it easy. First off, JoJo Soroya. Michael did not get the first, second, or third pick. Right, it's he amazing. got the fifth pick, the but the MVP. way he, the way it landed, and he wants Joe. You know, Michael likes bats. He wanted to know some, him. Some people will say Zach Ishkenazi's first overall. Michael loves Zach Ishkenazi. We'd be happy with him. Like, Joe is when not a power bat, and he's not too shabby at shortstop. Oh, we know. We so know that. Michael is happy to get Joe. Now, their outfield looks beautiful to me. Having Natan Safdie in center, welcome back, Natan. And now you got to tell me more about Al Moyal. Yeah, so they got this Al Moyal boy. He's about four foot six. He runs like a little bunny, maybe like a hamster. So if you have and JoJo on Al Moyal's uh, shoulders, maybe, maybe you'll get to save on his nose. That's maybe. True. But I'll tell you, he's fast. He's a lefty. He finds his way on. I've played against him. If you're a shortstop and he's up, you're playing very shallow. So you have Natan in center and Natan Jr. in left field. That's what it seems as though. And so, Al, Al Sit missed the money in right field also. Yeah, something really cool. Something you don't Shut usually up. see. Three lefty outfielders. That is so That's awkward. Pretty weird. Yeah. Three lefty outfielders. Third base, welcome to the league. I think he's considered a rookie. Nathan Little Batesh. Yeah. Little Nathan Batesh. No, I think Nathan. he actually played on the House of Fire as a kid. Oh, he did. He did. He did. So not his rookie fire. year, but that was back in 2000. That was before he discovered third base for himself. Yeah, that's true. So now he's a gold glover at third. Um, Avi Dweck at short center field. We saw what he could do um, as a part of high cheese last year. He's a Avi's back. The nightly back. And you know the, so last year we had Ezra Dweck, Hank's younger brother. And listen, I don't think he got a fair shake of things. He had a baby in the middle of the year. He didn't. Uh, he, he didn't find himself. But I played against Huda in the tournament a few years ago, and he impressed me. So Huda Dweck, I think he's going to open some eyes, especially Sabans. And Can't forget about the Indian. Baby Saka. On the mound, Baby Saka. And that's that's a right. story in itself because Jimmy passed right. over him, right. took Yankee Itzkowitz, and left uh, Sabon dancing right. at the draft, Some doing, people doing the Indian dance, and got him. Some people say A.B. Sack is hittable. He's not as good as you think. In the World Series, he finds his way into the dance year after year after year. He's yet to close the deal. Yeah. But it ain't easy to get to the World Series Saban, with the game. Always Saban in hand. had unfinished business last year with Sabon Metrics. And guess what? He put together a team that definitely can clinch this. And one interesting thing about this team. Two interesting things. Well, more. I think this is even crazier. He led the league. In drafting rookies, we have a rookie at catcher in Ian Lerner. He was actually on Sabon After Dark. Walking Maybe in. great. We have a guy that his last name is Lopez. Douglas Lopez. He might be the best player in the league ever. Right now, he, uh, Jimmy claimed the guy hasn't touched the bat and was playing cricket over the last four years. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I did some research and I heard he has a batting cage. When I saw Jimmy scream in anger when he was drafted, that suggests a lot of things to me. And Ian Lerner, we did some homework and found out he has family that played in the minor leagues. Right. And not so, only, well, he said it himself on Saban After Dark. He has his, I think, his first cousin, his, his dad, uncle. his uncle. So, so he has lineage of, of, of real, ball real, players. Ball players. Not major, just, major league right, style. Right, not just Syrians. My dad played in 1982 right. for the front runners. You know, like, Listen, this is real. I, I think this team is the real deal. I think they're uh, one of my favorites to win it all. I'm so, not, not suggesting they are, but that's one of my... If one Doug of Lopez is anything that we think, I think Avi Black and Huda might not get all the playing time they're anticipating. And I think they'll be okay with that if they yeah. see this guy's they're a real winner, deal. A winner. So there's a team with speed, a team with defense, and um, we can have a lineup. The only question maybe to me is their defense. Because if Lopez and Lerner are not what we think they are. Right now we have Lerner at catcher. Right. And is Avi Black and Huda going to hold down their right I side? I think they have enough versatility to hang on. I, I think they're good enough. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of And then the last grand question. There's a lot of rookies. Michael Solomon is not always the easiest uh, person. We love him. I laugh my head off from him. Many do, but... Is sometimes a rookie get a little scared? Not worried. All right. Not worried. Good luck. We both like Supreme. Supreme. I can see you for sure in the final four. Yeah, me too. We'll see you next.